Good day, everyone. It's Bordeaux Rose. How are you today? How are you? I hope you're good. Um, let me start this video by saying, listen, all the Jeffree Star stands, please just be a little bit open-minded. Like, let's not come with the bashing and the name calling and things like that. Please leave that out of here. Let's be nice. Okay, let's be nice. This is just an opinion video okay you guys it's an opinion video okay um but anyway like i said my name is bordeaux rose i wanted to come on and just have a quick conversation i've tried to do these kind of videos in the past and people come on and do really bad things they say really bad things and i don't like it so i try to stay away from jeffree star his content i don't buy any of his products anymore i used to like a way way long time ago i have a couple things from him i don't own any of his eyeshadow palettes um but i understand that they're really really good and I have um a highlighter palette that I bought years ago or whatever you know when I just didn't know what was going on or whatever the case may be but anyway that's neither here or there let's talk about this collection <laughs> I have the recipe for this um Starbucks pineapple green matcha drink um I'm gonna I'm a upload it after this one okay okay but anyway cremated i ain't like that but everybody has their thing i'm pretty sure it's gonna sell out like all his other things all his other palettes all of his other collections um but i just want to come on and just say my piece and to show you a a mini dupe of this item okay um number one i feel like the palette is too many grays and whites and silvers I don't think one person needs that many grays and whites and silvers. I'm sorry. I just don't think so. Okay. So I am going to introduce to you the best dupe that I know on the market for this palette that's been out for a long time now. It only costs $12 and it's from ColourPop. Okay. It's called Smoke show <laughs> uh it's called smoke show it's what i'm wearing right now on my eyes very pigmented i have no problems with this um i used it as liner at the bottom lash line it comes with a mirror which i love because i love to do my makeup like this when i'm traveling in the mirror it's this to me in my opinion is all we really need don't come from my my press on nail that fell off okay this is really all we need you guys this is all we need okay we really don't need that many different i mean on the skin those different grays kind of all look the same once you put them on the skin let's just be real okay let's just be real we don't need all of that all right especially not to pay that price point for it either this is 12 dollars. 12 dollars you guys we have a two blacks very deep blacks very pigmented this one has shimmer in it the one in the middle is like um kind of like a a little bit of a dark silver shimmer metallic color. I mean, beautiful. Look at that. Ugh, I'm wearing that on my eyes. Um then there's the Okay, I'm going to just go through the colors. How about we do that? Okay? We we going to do that. Um all right. So, let's start at the top, okay? At the top. I'm not going to swatch the mats. I never swatch mats. Don't come for me. I do not swatch mats, okay? <laughs> I don't do that anymore. It doesn't make sense. They never come out good. All right, so the first top three um, layers or the first row is the first color is Young Love, okay? It's a white matte color. The second one is Smokin'. Um, I think of uh, Jim Carrey when I say that. Um, Smokin' from the uh, video. What movie was that? Uh, Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura, smoking. That's that color. And I think, is that the one that I just swatched? No, that's even a deeper, darker slate kind of gray there. Okay. Um, and that is a shimmer metallic kind of color. The next color is like, it's called stone face and it's a stone color. It's a matte color. It's, it is stone. It's a very nice matte color. I do that when I go in and I put like the grays down and then I want to do just like a peekaboo cut crease, simulate a cut crease. And I put that white on um, that stone face color on there. Better than putting the white on my skin. It just doesn't look as well. Um, the next color is called Slate. It is a matte true gray color okay it's called slate kind of like the color right there on my walls it's the same thing okay and it's matte the next color is called starstruck 
This is a true metallic silver right there. Look at that pigmentation. $12? Come on. We got this, okay? All right. So the next color is called Ignite. I'm not going to swatch it. It is a matte gray with a little bit of like... um glitter in it fine fine glitter very very pretty all over the lid i love it with the little liner and you're good to go okay the next row is called let's do it it is a black color it is just a black matte period it's a nice black matte the next color is the first color that i talked about it's called full metal and that is this color right here oh so pretty it reminds me of this um eyeshadow component like that that's what that looks like to me am i wrong am i wrong yes exactly okay the last color but least and my favorite color in this whole palette is this dark color called might dream it is a very dark black with like some gold flecks in it it's a matte but i'm gonna swatch it because it's so pretty and i'm i know they they never look the same but look at i just want to show you the glitter in that mat so pretty so i just feel like this is really all we need when we when it comes to a gray collection and and you know it's called smoke show not offensive <laughs> not an offensive you know name so i just feel like at the end of the day the timing of the palette was a very, I'm sorry, I'm looking for something to wipe this makeup off my hands before I get it on my clothes. But the timing of the palette was very kind of insensitive. I would have waited or, re, well, he couldn't rename it because I'm pretty sure that he already had those components done and everything. It would have been kind of like, ugh, to redo it. So I can understand that. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty sure when Jeffree Star launch this he was not sure because even in his launch video he just looked so unsure about this collection i he just wasn't sold to me like he didn't look he said he was excited but he just didn't look excited even in the behind the scenes if you saw um because i did watch it now i'm gonna be honest with you jeffree star comes out with some sickening looks so i mean i can be honest whether i like you or not i can be honest if you got talent okay and his looks are a1 okay and if you saw that reveal video honey baby that hair was slayed that white gray to black ombre was sickening i have never seen anything like that that was fire okay i have to be honest with you the whole setup the backdrop everything but even with him there sitting looking so sickening i felt like he didn't he, he, he didn't buy it himself. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, I just didn't see him. He said he was excited. He just couldn't wait and it's so gorgeous and blah, blah, blah. But he just didn't look genuinely happy about the launch. And I think it could be a couple things. Maybe one is because he knew he would be met with a lot of criticism about this launch. Uh, two, because he knew that sales probably weren't going to be as good because a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people are going to think he's insensitive for, you know, I guess that that's number one too, for launching at a time like this. Um, then the name of it was kind of like insensitive. So I just don't think that he was happy about the launch. I think he had to do it because of dates and, you know, things that were just sitting in his warehouse, you know, collecting dust and he didn't want any tea channels to come out and say that he was selling expired makeup you know how that goes okay so but you know and and i'm a human and i can understand a human and i understand the business part of it but you know it is what it is so i just want to come on show you guys a dupe for it if you're not interested in that palette and you don't have this palette palette it is i went back online to ColourPop's website to make sure that this was still there and it is and in my opinion like i said if you if you like that launch if you like that palette the, the, the uh cremated palette from jeffree star that he's getting ready to release um but you're like eh, it's kind of big i don't think i need that much the price point is in eh, for that many whites and grays and blacks it's just and one black sis you can do black in two at least two different formulas come on now come on now we could have used at least one more black okay so check it out if you're interested in that color scheme 
I bought this only because I was like, you know, this is good for just a quick smoky eye. I don't have to go through palettes and see if I can find a black and a gray. And it's right here. It's small. It's price effective. $12. Like, okay. Okay. But anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Let's be nice in the comment section. Let's not call me names. Let's not say mean things. Let's be nice in the comment section. Go check it out, okay? Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.